how do you go about finding your information? Because sometimes you can't just trust the Google search, right? right. Or just trust no. asking somebody. <laughs> Right, right. No, I think there's so many sources now, especially with the internet, you have access to everything. Like you can go to encyclopedias and see what's been published for years. You can go to cutting edge medical literature and read what's coming out today. You can go to what are called meta analyses, where it's people that have gone through papers and they write new papers about that. Of course, you know, there's anecdote and, and people in the science community have long poo-pooed what people are learning on the streets, as if that's not scientific. But the interesting thing about cannabis and the way it's so different from regular medicines is we don't know that much. You know, we've been handicapped for almost 90 years from a bounty of formal studies. So what information is most plentiful actually is what people are learning at home. And the conversations people are having with their friends, the awkward conversations they're having with doctors, all that stuff is really juicy. And it's important for us to hear kind of what's bubbling up, what's common among people that they're finding helpful, what's common that they're finding not helpful. That's the sort of information I want the world to really hear and, and have. Come.